So there are some big events happening today. We're going to be having the Champions League group draw. We're still about two weeks away from our next match, but we're also at the transfer deadline. So I think there might be some deals coming in uh, for players, possibly. We'll have to wait and see for that. But I want you guys to see the draw. So let's roll the intro. And the cats have figured out that the desk is a nice place to sit. Uh, so you might get their ears popping up in there every once in a while. Real life happenings here on the channel. Uh, but roll the intro. Let's get to the draw. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Football Manager 21. This is our single team save with the Groff Shop. This is episode 57, and we are up to the transfer deadline, which is why we're coming back. We also have the uh, Champions League group stage draw at some point today, so wanted you guys to see that. We're still about 17 days away from the next match. Here's a quick look at our 15 players called up for international duty. Uh, a couple of the bigger names. Uh, these are all under 21s. Uh, Kurdov going to Bulgaria. Uh, Boldy, who's in on loan to Hungary. And a couple of U19s. And Momsilovic over to Serbia. So only three of the 15 going up to their senior club. Starting to get a lot of nibbles on that guy, Rossi. All right, here we are for the draw. I'm a little nervous about this, so let's see. We're probably going to be an eight seed, I would think, somewhere pretty low. No, we're actually going to be a four seed. Okay, so let's get the first teams out there. All right, so there's your core groups, and I believe it's third and fourth teams can come up here, right? I think that's how it works. I haven't been in Champions League in so long. No, it looks like that's all third seed. Okay. All right, so there we go. There's our seeds that we're looking at. What group would we like? That's going to be tough. Although we've, you know, yeah, PSV kind of owns us. We're going to have a hard time getting out of any of these group stages, I would think. Maybe Group D? Maybe. E? E would be a good group. We can't be an F, I don't think. And yeah, I would say D or E would be our best bets. And we're going to be in with Barcelona, Standard, and Besiktas. So, all right. Well, for Russia, Dortmund in Group D. Got to remember, we are in 2057, so we are a little ways down the road. Group B, I don't know exactly what that... Uh, what that spells for us. But there we go. That's where we'll be at. Standard De Liege, Besiktas, and Barcelona, who have to be the odds-on favorites for that one. Wow. Hopefully we make some money out of that. Oh, by the way, speaking of money, we do pick up 17.9 million just for qualifying for the group stage. So that's nice couple of fixture rearrangements and popping into finances that puts us up to 50 million so that's good all right there's the end of the transfer window nothing much happening uh here in the netherlands you can see uh the big moves uh, heracles picked up 14 players we did have one final transfer going out and that was rude ginnon to heracles for 72,000 up front 140000 over the length of the loan. And, um, yeah, we talked about all these guys. All right, well, let me get up to a match here. We will be talking about, uh, let's get here. Uh, so here's what we've done in uh, recent memory. Uh, we did lose to Sparta 2-1. to one. Ronnie Evers got uh, his second goal for the club. 2-0 uh, loss to PSV. A 3-0 win over Eindhoven. Uh, Vanderhorst got his first start of the season in the uh, Shadow Striker role and got a seven-minute brace and a 2-1 defeat to Ajax. Ronnie Evers with the goal there. Um, mostly we've been playing the three-back set, and we have been struggling, uh, not really scoring as much as we had. 
So I have uh, brought in a new tactic that I'm going to try out. Uh, so what we're going to do, we've already played Heronveen on camera. So we are going to uh, do Heronveen highlights, and then we will play Barcelona uh, today uh, on video. So let me get up to Heronveen. We'll check out the highlights in just a second. Well, a little bit of good news. We uh, Gerber came to us and withdrew his transfer request. And I'll just let you guys watch the goals because uh, this was an ugly affair. We had to play a heavily rotated squad. Uh, so we'll let you just kind of watch these highlights as I chat. Uh, but he uh, withdrew his transfer request, and uh, then he signed a new five-year deal with us. So Gerber is going to be around for a while. I even was able to negotiate out the uh, release clause, uh, which he had tried to get me to drop to 66 million from 71 and I I said let me try to delete it and he bought it so that was all good and uh yeah so anyway there's a penalty making it 3-1 uh, also busy busy day yesterday for me I'm recording this on Sunday usually I try to record on Fridays or Saturdays and then do all my rendering on Sunday good finish there by Ronnie Evers and uh but we went car shopping, my wife and I, yesterday and bought a brand new vehicle. Uh, I had to get a new car for work. I, I, uh, I'm in outside sales, but I provide my own car. And uh, that was not a good play by Kaiser. Oh, my God. I wonder if maybe we should have looked at a goalkeeper harder. <laughs> uh, but anyway, this was an ugly affair. Of course, it is Heronveen. So, and we were playing fully rotated. You can see 28 shots to 7, 15 to 2 on target. We scored 2. It was pretty crap. We're going to find one week here. And he can resolve the issue. Don't care about it. Yeah, for some reason, I guess when I went through the um, off season, the uh, I skipped over our vacation through the park to do the um uh, code of conduct i don't know why that doesn't carry over that should be locked in you shouldn't have to redo that every year i don't know all right well we're coming up to barcelona let me advance a couple more days for that and uh then we can watch a uh <laughs> about five to two was bad we could probably watch a real butt whipping uh at least it'll be in front of the home fans all right here's what we're gonna go with we're gonna go with our three back set Kaiser in goal, Gerber, Kurdov, and Dimitrovic on the back line. Uh, Baumgartner, Momsilovic, Foldy, uh, or Faldi, DeVos on the midfield, Vanderhorst in the number 10, Ebers and Kernjik up top. That leaves uh, Grutunk, Resnick, Kaisela, Cervenka, and Vicario on the bench. I'm not expecting a whole lot out of this. It would be it would be remarkable to just be competitive, I think. Let's give them some encouragement. And we are in the blue and white. Barca is in their blue and, I don't know, is that maroon, burgundy? Not sure. Oh, my God, we want a defensive header. We'll chalk that up as a win. <laughs> oh, look at their midfield just knocking it around with that quick one-touch passing. Deep into Dimitrovic. Oh, good move by Baumgartner to slide in front. Oh, what a tap in. And it's Evers. He slots it home. Fifth goal of the season, and we have jumped out to a 1-0 lead. Oh, my goodness. Six minute, and we're up 1-0. Huge, huge goal. Oh, my. Oh, my. Come on, boys. I'm getting my hopes up. It's too early for that. <laughs> oh, good tackle away and cleared out. Over the top. Come on, Ronnie. Oh, Ronnie doesn't have the pace to compete with these guys. He's a talent at the Arita VC, but we're talking the world stage now. Vanderhorst. He takes a crack, and Alex... Makes the big save. That was really good-looking play by Vanderhorst. Come on, fellas. They have only managed one shot. 
I'm going to encourage them again. All right, they're on the attack. We do have some rain. A oh, good block away. It's kept in by Mom Silovich, and he gets it out. So good job by him. Oh, it looked like it took a deflection. That's going to be a corner. Gerber with the tap. Uh, we do have a full thigh. Wants to stay on, but the injury is affecting him. Yeah, let's pull him off. Let's bring Resnick on. So it's headed, and then Momsilovich clears it off the line. Kernjik's on the flank. Brings it up. Oh, he lays it off, and it's Evers. Evers puts it in. That's a brace, and we have a 2-0 lead. Oh, my God. Oh, my. I was not expecting this. All right, we are going to proceed. All right, now. All right, yeah, let's pause it. All right, we're going to go to balanced. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to ask the keeper to slow the pace down. I don't want to mess with the defense too much because whatever we're doing seems to be working right now. Knock on wood. All right, Baumgartner into the box. Kurdov runs it down. All right, there's Faldi. That was a nice effort by Mom Silovich, but oh, uh, and that gets through. What a save by Kaiser. That keeps us alive. Uh, let's just get to halftime. That one's headed over. All right, halftime. 2 0. Was anybody expecting this at the start of the match. Now, we still only have six shots. They've had 10, but we are doing a great, great job so far. Uh, outstretched arms, delighted. All right, come on, boys. Let's encourage them again. Oh, what an in-slinger there. And it was cleared off the line. I think it was Dimitrovich that cleared it off. Another one comes through, and that's going to be a goal kick. Oh, that's two big balls cleared off the line by our back line. Oh, that is huge. Huge work by our defense today so far. 60th minute, 30 minutes left in the match. Oh, what a finish by Franco Vega. Oh, my goodness, right into the far post. And Kaiser had no shot there. Oh, just one touch and he laced it. I think he did right. He had to cover that near post. There was just nothing we could have done there. Come on, boys. Long throw. Nobody's up there. Oh, intercepted by DeVos. He brings it up into the zone. He takes a crack, and it just goes wide. Oh, that could have been a huge goal for us today. All right, Bumgartner is tired. Let's go ahead and <coughs> we've got two of our defenders on yellow cards. Let's bring Cervenka on on the wing. I want to make these guys support now. Just a little more defensive little more defensive. I'm going to change Dimitrovich to a central defender on defend instead of ball playing because his passing's not quite as good. So, oh my goodness. All right, I'm going to give him another shout here. Um, everybody looks good. We're going to encourage him again. That seems to be the go-to here, right? All right, it's DeVos is now tired. And he's got an injury, potential foot injury. Shit. All right, I don't have anybody that can actually play mid-right. Let's bring Resnick back to DeVos. And then, 
Macario, do we bring him on? I think so. Let's do it. He is still one of our team leaders. All right, they've got a counter opportunity. They've got people in the attack. Oh, he took a crack. Kaiser with the big save to tip it over the bar. That was a brilliant, brilliant save. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Four minutes. Oh, my God, this is going to be forever. Um, focus. Okay, they didn't like that, but hold on. Oh, my God, what a win. That could be. That could be my biggest win in football manager history. It's not even a cup. It's a first-round group stage, but beating Barcelona. We beat Barcelona, guys. Holy cow. What a game. Oh, outstretched arms. Really special. Oh, yes. Was not expecting that in the least. Oh, man, now if we can beat Besiktas and made, if we can beat Besiktas twice and then maybe pull one draw, we could get through this thing. Ah, no, no, no. Way too early to be thinking that. That is huge. All right, Vanderhorst is out for about a week. We get $3 million for that win. DeVos will only be out for a day or two, so that is awesome. Oh, my God, the money here is just asinine, isn't it? Oh, that's huge, guys. All right, let's come back. Uh, I think we'll do a double Champions League next episode, so I'll play the league matches off camera. Uh, we'll do standard highlights. And then uh, I'll play Gronigan and Breda off camera. And then we'll play Besiktas uh, next episode with the standard highlights and show you guys the scores of the league matches. I'm still expecting to get, to get knocked out of the Champions League. So that ends here in about the middle of December. And then we go right into the Dutch Cup, which we're expected to be pretty competitive in. Reach the quarterfinal. Yeah. So we're expected to do pretty well there. Um, and I guess we're not in, oh, that was the Super Cup. Uh, the Dutch Cup is what we won last year, correct? I believe that's right. Yes, we won it this past season. Yes, silverware. Um, oh my God, I can't believe that we won this match. I am so excited about that. Yes, be excited, little one. <laughs> All right, guys, hit that like button for me. Subscribe and don't forget, we have daily football manager content, so hit that notification bell. I appreciate you guys, all you do to help support the channel. Uh, look forward to hearing your thoughts on this match, because, oh my God, we beat Barcelona. All right, we'll see you next episode. Take care. Bye.